Alright people, it's Sprat here and today we're going to start things off with some beautiful gameplay with the Longbow and Widowmaker swap class. I actually don't think I use the Widowmaker too much because the Longbow is just too dominant. It's the star of the show. I absolutely, I'm going to talk about it every every video. Every time I do an Infinite Warfare video, I'm just going to say how good this sniper is. I absolutely love it. So enjoy the gameplay. I just go off. The accuracy is unreal and I get really nice streaks in here too. So really happy with this gameplay. I'm probably going to show the majority of it. So if you do enjoy that, show some love. I'd really appreciate it. And then after that, we're going to show some Modern Warfare Remastered gameplay because I wanted to merge them. I wanted to merge the two to see how they work together, see how they look together. Because obviously, if you've done multi card videos in the past, some Call of Duties just don't work together. You know, they just don't look right. But I wanted to try that today, see if they work well together, like one after the other, and then we'll move on from there. Because I do want to do like little multi card montages between the two and then do like highlight videos merging the two. So I wanted to try this out and see what you guys think. So let me know if you like the merging or if you want me to keep them separate because I know a lot of people don't want to play Infinite Warfare or they don't want to play Modern Warfare Remastered and they like to keep the videos separate or like to keep the gameplay separate. So we'll see. I don't know. It's just it's trial and error at this point. We've not had two Call of Duties drop at once before, so I've got to test it out and see what works. So anyway, I hope you enjoy the gameplays. I wanted to talk about the games in general, talk about sniping on each of those games and just show some gameplay while we're doing that. So this first one, actually, though, this first gameplay, I'm using Rewind, which is such a cool... It's like Glitch, but cooler, I swear, and it's just so clutch, absolutely so clutch, so enjoy a bit of gameplay with that, I think this is one of the first games I was using it, so wasn't too confident with it, but I've been using it for like a day now, and it's just so, it's so much fun, and I don't know what the Modern Warfare Remastered gameplay is going to be, I do have some gameplays here and there, maybe I'll just use streaks, I'm not too sure yet, I haven't decided, but hope you all enjoy anyway, let's get into this, so what I love about these games though, is that I can just hop on from one to the other, and just not have to change anything, like yeah, Infinite Warfare has the movement, you have to take that into consideration, but I use the same sensitivity, the games feel the same in regards to sniping, I honestly don't have to change my playstyle up, you know, apart from running, <laughs> running on walls or whatever, but I just feel like I'm playing the same way, I'm confident with my shot, and I'm confident with the sniping I was so pleased that they made the sniping the same I was really worried because obviously with Black Ops 3 we didn't have target assist on the majority of the snipers and if they did that with Infinite Warfare and then Modern Warfare Remastered had target assist I would have to change up my gameplay every time I got in each game and that would just drive me mad so I'm so I'm so happy that I can get on from one game to the other and just not have to change anything so that's why it's going to be a lot easier this year to get on from one Call of Duty to the other and just do damage and do work and I'm so I'm so happy for that just get to run around and do what I want on each game and if I'm not feeling one game one day I'll I'll get on the other one and I won't have to change anything. So that is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. But as a whole, I've been enjoying both games a lot. Infinite Warfare a little bit more just because, like I said in my video yesterday, it's just more fresh. It's more new to me. Whereas Remastered is COD 4 and I played a lot of COD 4 in the past, but really enjoying both of those games. I know you guys have been enjoying the videos. Let me know though. I'm curious to know which, if you had to choose which you would want to watch all the time, let me know in the comments. If you're playing them or watching them, I think it's like a 50-50, honestly. So let me know, drop a comment, let me know which you prefer to watch. I know a lot of people are in the same boat as me. They played a lot of COD 4 and it is nice that it's remastered and back but they like the Infinite Warfare side of it because it's something fresh, it's something new, it's a new Call of Duty, so it's always going to feel a little bit better, especially if you enjoy it, and then Remastered is still fun, it's still nice to hop on there, but I think a lot of people are going to be in the same boat there, but others might just love COD 4 for what it is and love the Remastered side of it and just don't really like movement and stuff like that, so it's going to be nice to see what you guys think, I know a lot of people enjoy my BO3 stuff, so I'm sure you'll like an Infinite Warfare as well, but I definitely want to see what you guys are thinking on that side, so I'm going to start grinding highlights and clips now, I've been trying to focus on just getting into the games a little bit more, getting the live comments up, getting specific videos done. I want to get the intervention unlocked because I'm still slacking on that. So once I get that, I'm sure I get a lot more Infinite Warfare clips because the longbow is just a little too slow for that kind of stuff. And then the Widowmaker is just terrible now. I, I mean, I didn't even like it on the beta. I don't even know how people enjoyed that gun. I just, I hit marked every shot because you have to use it so differently. Like you have to stay in your scope for like a millisecond longer so the second bullet hits. And it's just, it's just a pain. I don't want to run around like that. And then the EBR is like a hit marker machine now. I think it's semi-auto. And then the other one I don't even think I have. So working towards that intervention because apparently it's amazing. So I'll do a video on that when I get it. On the remastered side of things, I'm still rocking with the M40. Should probably swap to the R700. I might even use the semi-autos to get some headshots and just get kills with those and try and get, was it Regal? Regal camo on that game? I'm not too sure what it's called. 
I think it's Regal. Anyway, I'm going to try and get that, but I want to get some Barrett gameplay, some R700. So I don't want to spam you guys with M40, but that's what I've been using right there. So but honestly, just working up the ranks on both games and just steady process. I don't want to burn myself out on either of them by absolutely grinding one of them and then neglecting the other. I want to work up on both as much as I can. But because of that, I'm hoping to start hitting some more clips, getting more highlights. I've been saving some up and I'm also trying to make a montage for this weekend. Every year, I've always been about like getting the first montage out or grinding for clips at the start. I had a different mindset this year. I just wanted to get the gameplays, get the good streaks and all that good stuff and start off certain videos and get certain series ideas on the way. And yeah, I just put a lot of clips that I've been hitting into one video. It should be good. So that should be out this weekend. A phase video dropped as well. If you haven't seen it, Kitty's Infinite Warfare montage came out. Got to work with Star Set once again. If you don't know who they are, they are just like the perfect band, the perfect artist, the perfect group of artists, I guess you would say, for montages. Like, the music they make is just incredible. And I've used them in many montages before, but it was so nice to use them again. Work with them on an unreleased song to, uh, to put that in a phase video. So go check that out. It's absolutely beautiful. So I'll put a link in the description for you for that. But I think that is it. I just wanted to show some gameplay today, talk a little bit about it. Let me know if you like the merge or if you want me to keep Call of Duty separate because either one works with me. Montage out this weekend, hopefully. Intervention gameplay soon. Probably R700, Barra, all that good stuff on Remastered as well. And just so much content is coming. I'm so excited. There's just so much more stuff to do this year because we've got two games. So I'm going to try my best to pump those out for you. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like if you did. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.